Hello, John at Longevity Learning Lab, and today we're doing a setup video with the Longevity TIG Weld 250EX. It's a IGBT inverter technology machine with PFC auto voltage 110 220 capability. Uh, AC DC welder, uh, stick and TIG, and in a few moments we're going to go through the physical connections to actually weld with the machine. We're going to do the actual setup connections for TIG welding. TIG torch connection. Control connection. Gas line connection. And the ground. And that's it. And you're ready to TIG weld. Okay, this is a proper setup and settings on your control panel for the TIG weld 250EX. And when in TIG mode, you want to make sure you set your dial on the control panel correctly. You want to make sure you press this button for TIG weld. Then you want to set it for either high frequency or lift, which is scratch start. Then you set your amperage. And over here, you got post gas flow. And that'll tell you how long the gas flows after you break the arc. So approximately three to four seconds. And you're good to go. Also in the setup of uh, TIG welding with the 250EX, you wanna make sure that you have your flow meter set up correctly. This being your flow meter hooked up on your tank and then you adjust the flow. This is working pressure. This is tank pressure. And you're going to set that up. And it gets hooked up to the machine. Hooking up your gas line to the back of the machine, you want to make sure that you thread it all the way in and snug it up. Snug it up with the crescent wrench. Just snug, not too tight. Once you made that connection from the flow meter to the machine, along with the rest of the connections on the front and your settings, you're good to go TIG welding. We're gonna TIG weld a little bit of mild steel on 10 gauge mild steel using E70S6 TIG rod. Make sure our ground is good. You have a TIG torch in one hand and the rod electrode in the other hand. So after you strike the arc up, you're heating the material up, the metal, and you'll see the puddle form. And as soon as it forms, you dip the rod in and then you start moving in a timed progression, even dipping into the puddle. And what that does is it gives you that stack of dimes ripple effect on the bead and you keep going in an even motion. So it's kind of critical um, for the material to be clean. Can't have any residue on it of any kind. No oil, no scale, no crap. I always wire brush it first nice. And then once you strike that arc, now there's two modes. There's scratch start, which is lift, which you actually tungs, uh, touch the tungsten against the material, and then you get the arc to come up. And then the other one is high frequency, and you just gotta be close to the material, 
and hit the button and then the arc comes on. And there we go. We just made a TIG weld on mild steel 10 gauge and we did a little 1 8 fillet weld on mild steel right there and it came out pretty nice. Now we're going to do the physical connections for the stick welding process in stick mode. First of all, you're going to hook up your stinger and it's going to be on the positive terminal. Then your ground, which is going to the negative terminal. And that's it for stick welding. Turn on the machine and you're ready to stick weld. I'm going to reach over and power up the machine. We're going through our actual settings on the control panel. I want to make sure it's in stick mode, SMAW, and it is it's flashing stick. We want to set our heat. Done that at 124 amps. This here is not used in this function. Have our ground. We're on DC reverse. That's where we want to be for a 7018 electrode. All the settings are right and you're good to go. We're going to adjust our heat settings and we want it right around 120 to 125. Stinger uh, electrode in the stinger holder. And we're going to try a weld here. Okay, that was with 7018 electrode and it seemed to run fine. Just to recap things with our TIG Weld 250EX, the machine being a multi-process machine comes with everything you see here on the table. TIG torch, your gas line and flow meter, your foot control, stinger, ground clamp, and your power adapter cord for 110 use. And not to overlook anything, but uh, later on we'll get into all the extra functions the machine has, like the pulse and uh, adjusting the waves on the machine. So I hope that was informative, and thank you for watching.